So I started as a, a New York City teacher. I realized that like I could solve a lot of problems in the school just by knowing how to like automate things. So taking like CSVs and beginning to put them into a Rails application. And I remember really clearly the first time I wrote uh, a little bit of jQuery to like uh, create a better user interface for that. And I was like sold on on front end engineering. At the time, there weren't like all these training programs that there are now, and so you had to teach yourself. Before I ever taught a front end master's course, I remember being a customer um, and like going through like all of the courses, which helped me get like my first development job. Um, so I ended up writing software for a nonprofit in New York City, and then I got to I got the opportunity to teach software engineering uh, out in Denver at the Turing School of Software and Design. Uh, eventually, the JavaScript part got really popular, and there was enough demand to start its own program. And a lot of that I had learned from front end masters, but then training up my own staff, so we got them the team membership. One one instructor spent about 400 hours um, watching videos, and like the quality of the instruction that we were able to give just by having this like wide range of like expert knowledge, I think was like an incredibly like contributing factor to the success of that program. I think a really important part of teaching is being able to read students. And when you have people in the room, you can kind of see their faces and see what are they getting, what are they not getting, and make those like micro adjustments that I think create a much better learning experience, even if you're watching it after the fact. Uh, so the reasons I really love doing front-end master's course is being able to feed off the energy of the room. And I like don't know of another like product right now that that does that.